mind? He's like, back it up, babe. Back it up. <laughs> okay. So, now I'm finally getting to the topic of the love that you are looking for. I keep starting with that and we end up with something else. So, here we are. Now, the love that you are looking for. When I say the love is in you, the love is in you. What does that mean to you? The love is in you. Because you are the love. When I say, this is very important. When I say you are the love, I say that deliberately. This beautiful universal life force energy that is in everything is love. It knows only love. And you are made of that. You are that love. You are made of the same. Call it God. Call it the universe. Call it spirit. Call it life. Call it, give it whatever name you want to give it. All of those things equal love. Love is an energy that is inside each of us. Each of us has that beautiful energy. And that energy is in everything. It's not just us. It's in everything around you. Everything has that beautiful energy. And that beautiful loving energy. So, that loving energy that is in you, that is in everything, is who you are. Now, when we are born, okay, and we go through our childhood experiences, and we are born and we are the love, and that love gets rejected, not seen, not acknowledged, and then you go in through life and you've forgotten that you are the love. You've forgotten. You are love. You are the love. And so you look for love outside of you. You look for it everywhere else. And the most beautiful gift that you can give to yourself in any moment, in every moment, is to love yourself. You look at yourself and you think, I'm so whatever it is that you are. I'm so shy. I love that about me. You know, or whatever it is that you've got. Love it about yourself. Because it's what makes you unique. Love all of it. Love your anger when you're angry. I love that about myself. I love that. You need to love yourself first. In loving yourself, you're accepting every part of you, not judging. You know, we learn to judge from our childhood. We learn judgment. You're not born with judgment. You're born with love, as love, and only love. You're the love and the light when you're born. You're made of this beautiful light energy. And all these judgments you take on about yourself, that you're not good enough, that you're not worthy, that you're whatever other judgments are on your list. You need to love all that about yourself because none of it's true anyway. It's not who you are. So it doesn't matter. You know, the other day, um, when I was in the hospital, uh, a priest came uh, to do the Holy Communion. And they say the words, before they give you the Holy Communion, they say the words, Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. And I sat with that, for a while after. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you. You know, and it's, I'm thinking, 
but God is like the ocean and we are like waves in the ocean, right? It's, it's that simple. It's not more complicated than that. God is the ocean and we are the waves in the ocean. We are all a part of this one ocean because we're all a part of the same energy. And it's like the ocean saying to a wave, oh, look, you don't deserve to be in this ocean. You're going to have to find another ocean to swim in. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> no, we're all a part of this ocean having all of these experiences for the greater good. You know, it doesn't matter what those experiences are. We are the ones that judge them as good or bad. We are the ones. They just are experiences, neither one way nor the other. You know? But today, just sit with, you know, that was something I learned from Rika. And she would always say, I love that about myself. I love that about myself. <laughs> and even one day she was saying, you know, I'm so mean. I love being mean. I love that about myself, <laughs> you know? Um, because that's what it comes down to, loving every single bit of who you are, accepting every single bit of who you are. And I thought it was necessary to acknowledge that, you know, that's something that she always says, and I just love that, that, you know, that she, she says, I love that about myself. Everything. I love that I'm mean. I love that I'm angry. I love that I'm whatever it is that you are. Because you are the only one of your kind <laughs> on this earth. There is no one else like you. No one. We're all different. And even if we might look a little bit similar on the outside, our personalities are all, you know, our traits, who we are, our experiences, completely different which make us completely different mm, people, you know, like people, um, completely different in, um, unique is the word I'm after. So yeah, today I'd like you to make a list of all the things you think are good about yourself, all the things you think are bad about yourself, right? Impatient. I'm impatient. I love that about myself. I love that I'm impatient. You know, I love that. I love, you need to love everything about yourself you need to fall in love with you exactly as you are not how someone else wants you to be or not how you think you should be but exactly as you are today because you even though you've forgotten you are love and you go out into the world and you serve others with your love just by being here. Even if you go out and you make someone angry, you have served them. Because in making them angry, however that happened, <laughs> you know, that person, you've triggered them. There is something hurting inside of them and that's why their anger flared up. You have created an opportunity for that person to look within and say, well, why am I angry? Or just ignore it and stay on autopilot and just keep getting angry at everything you know even in situations where you think it's a negative thing you have created an opportunity for someone even for yourself you've created an opportunity every time and others are serving you in the same way if they're making you angry oh it's an opportunity for me to stop why am i angry and when you realize that this anger you have has nothing to do with that person, big shifts start to happen in your life. Big shifts, massive. When you realize that it's all in here and had really nothing to do with that person. It's all stuff we make up about ourselves when we're kids, all of it. We make all this stuff up. We're not worthy, we're not good enough don't deserve love, can't be loved, you know, all this stuff. Well, all the while, we are love, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> we are love, but we've forgotten because it was rejected. It wasn't acknowledged. So here we are. Love everything about yourself today. You're amazing. Even if nobody has told you, I am telling you today, you're amazing. 
and being present in the world is serving others just by being present in someone else's life whether you're serving them a coffee or they're serving you a coffee whether you're doing a job for someone or someone's doing a job for you you being in other people's lives is already serving them and they are serving you all right my darlings so the love that is in here is you remembering the love that you are and going back to that beautiful love to that beautiful state where there is only love and you start to see it everywhere you start to see how everything is serving you how everything is love so yeah sit with that today even if for just one moment, can you remember a point in your life where you were just love and light and there was nothing else? Or even if you can't remember it, just imagine it. Close your eyes and just imagine. I am the love and I am the light. This beautiful light energy that comes from the light force energy that is in all things. Just imagine it. How does that make you feel? Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.